Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share an online utility with you which you can use to convert any given SQL query to the PySpark data frame code, right? Uh, I know it sounds magical, but there are some limitations and we'll talk about that as well, right? So as part of my weekend project, right, I picked this task of uh, converting a given SQL query into a PySpark data frame code. And if you've been following me on YouTube or, uh, or if you've been following my blogs, right, you would know that for the past few weeks, I've been working a lot on a PySpark series and uh, helping anybody who is a beginner in PySpark or anybody who already has very good understanding in writing SQL queries and they just want to learn how to transition from SQL to Spark, right, and specifically PySpark. So in continuation uh, to that series, right, I want to share this online utility with all of you, which you can use to convert your basic SQL queries into a PySpark data frame code. Now the intention is not to use this utility as a uh, as uh, as a solution for your uh, mass transformation of existing plethora of SQL queries to the PySpark, right? This is the intention is to specifically have a utility which will support beginners, right? The PySpark beginners who are not very comfortable with writing data frame codes presently, right? And uh, I think that with that intention, I created this utility as a weekend project and uh, I think so that it is able to suffice that condition, right? So hence I'm sharing this with all of you, right? So before we talk uh, more on this utility, right? Let's quickly, uh, let's quickly jump into the demo for it, like working demo, right? So the very basic query one can write is select star from table name, right? So say this is table underscore books is the table name and I do select star and this is the equivalent PySpark output for it right where you see whatever is the table name I'm mapping that to the data data frame name right so uh, it is assuming that uh, whatever the table name you are using in your SQL query you have an equivalent data frame which holds all the data and the data frame is same as well right since I'm doing select star it is doing select star here right uh, now what else we can do instead of doing star right maybe let me give you some column name here so that uh, this is another basic query where rather than doing select star from table you do select column list from tables right so if this is your query this becomes your pie spark output right uh, Another uh, very common operation in any SQL queries is to have a where condition, right? So let me give a where condition here or maybe two because sometimes we give multiple uh, filter conditions, right? Uh, so between and maybe let me fetch all the information for the year 2020. So yeah, so here I've added additional thing is we have added a filter conditions, right? So I'll do the generate so you know, right? This is the equivalent output for the where condition. So how it works is that if you have read my previous post where I've explained that how literally you can break any SQL queries into six or seven components, right? And what is the order of execution of those components? Depending on that, how you can pick each component one at a time and convert it into equivalent PySpark code at the end, just put all the components in the same order of execution and you will have your PySpark code. So using the learning from my previous post, I have implemented this utility, I have coded it in the same manner. So if you understand my previous post, you should be like, you can understand very easily how this utility is working, right? I'll share the link of my previous post also in the description along with obviously this online utility link, right? So I've added from condition, I've added where condition, what else I can do. So another very common operation is to have some uh, aggregate columns, right? Doing count, max, min. So let me add some aggregate columns too. So say as total rating and the most common ones are count, max, min. So let me add all three of it right so you can see that i'm also giving the alias name here so when i am doing count max min i'm giving the alias name to these derived columns right and when you add the count max min in a select query you have to give all the non-aggregate columns as part of group by right 
So in this case, this is just one column. So I have added count max min. I have added group by here. The query looks okay to me. I can click on the generate button and this is the output. Right? So it is reading uh, from data frame. First thing it is applying is the filter, which is pretty obvious, right? And once the filter is done, it applies the group by on your column. And then it does the aggregation. So aggregate count max min. And you can see whatever the alias name I have given here, it has given that alias name. And then at the end, it is doing the select of all the four columns. So you can see in select, it is fetching the alias names, right? So this PySpark code looks okay to me. What else we can do in a typical SQL query, right? Uh, we can obviously give some sorting. So let me just give some sorting here, right? And sorting can be ascending or it can be descending. And by default, it is ascending. So we'll give all the three options here. So I've given one column as uh, descending i have given another column as ascending and then i have given one column without any specifying anything specifically and by default it was ascending right so if i run this query you can see right that corresponding to this order by right i have this clause in my PySpark output right where i have tagged ascending and descending to each column right so what else in a given query we can have definitely we can have some limit also right that many times we just want to preview the data so we'll give the limit so limit will correspond to limit here in PySpark as well so you can see right that how easily i have uh, broken down a given sql query right into multiple sql components and uh, if i am converting each component one at a time right how easy it is for me to convert it into a PySpark code right and uh, what I'll do is I'll share this SQL query also as the default input query for you guys. So once you log, uh, come and see this converter, right, you will have one query as a reference for you, which you can use to write your own queries, right? <coughs> and um, yep, that's it. As part of demo, I wanted to cover this. Uh, I'll take another uh, couple of minutes maybe to talk about the utility, right? How you can get maximum benefit from this utility. So first thing is the limitation. So limitation definitely is the, the uh, right now the utility is not very exhaustive in terms of supporting so many different SQL scenarios possible, right? So, and I feel that it is uh, like almost impossible to come up with a utility which can support all the SQL scenarios. And uh, there are so many RDBMS solutions available in the market, right? And many of those solutions have their own ANSI standard extension to SQL, right? So to support all this SQL uh, functions, queries, scenarios, it is almost impossible, right? And this utility is no exception. Also considering that it was just a weekend project for, uh, for me, right? And the intention was just to support the beginners. Uh, this utility is not meant to do mass SQL transformation. Say you have thousands of SQL queries and you just want to convert everything in one go. This utility is not for that purpose, right? This is for the learning purpose and this is primarily for the beginners, right? So like definitely you can uh, understand that, okay, if you're giving some say where condition, how exactly it is mapping to the PySpark output. Say if you're giving group by, how the output in the PySpark will look like. You can do that kind of mapping. And for that, you can also refer to my previous post where I've done that. So uh, th those are the limitations, right? Like it's not very exhaustive. And uh, to be more specific, like right now I've not coded to handle the joins. I've not coded to handle the sub queries, right? And uh, with, with if you will give those constructs, right? You may get the output or you may not get the output. Even if you get the output, it may not be very accurate, right? So like I, from my side, I did try to give you the correct output on the PySpark side, but I cannot guarantee it, right? If you change something and it is not giving you the right output, but you have to understand the intention of this utility, right? It's just a weekend project for me and something which is handy and available to all the users where quickly they can write some simple basic SQL queries and see what is the PySpark output. They can learn from it and then they can implement it in their project. That was the intention. And I think that intention I have achieved with this utility, right? Also, if you're giving any, using any derived columns like count, max, min, right? I'll prefer to give a proper alias name for this utility to work properly because then it maps the alias name, right? In the select clause, in the aggregation, everywhere. 
uh, you can also give alias name for the tables right and i think it should work perfectly fine so i i'll encourage you to use the alias name wherever possible and uh, then the utility should work perfectly fine right uh, all right uh, feel free to use this utility guys and leave your comments and your feedback and uh, i am not planning to work a lot or invest a lot of time on this utility but if you have some feedback right which i think can be quickly accommodated into the existing code without much time investment i will definitely give it a try all right all right thanks a lot guys uh, thanks for watching hope you like this utility thank you